and I'd like to uh, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 23 to verse 27. So 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 23 to 27. Now, Paul is talking about himself, uh, and, and it's quite interesting because he's talking about spiritual activity. He's talking about reaching people who are lost, that don't know Jesus. He's talking about preaching the gospel. Verse 23, I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. So it's a very spiritual experience. So 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 23, I do everything to spread the good news and share in its blessings. But then he starts talking about people that are running a race. Now, people in Corinth, there, there was... Um, there was a, a racetrack. There was a place where they had, you know, Olympic-style games back in the day there, cl very close. So they'd, they'd all seen these races. And he says this. He says, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. Run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. And I was thinking about this, and, and I... I you know, thinking back to the when, when I, back in the day, I'm not running anymore, but I did then, and I know what it takes to train. But, you know, if you don't change other habits, like your rest and your nutrition, it really affects your ability to do the running. And, and so I thought, wow, that's, that's interesting. It looks very, very similar. And they, they're disciplined in their training and they do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. God is calling us not to just run for that uh, laurel wreath that they, they did because as you can figure out, it wouldn't be long and the leaves would be dry and brittle and that'd be the end of it. Uh, they, but we do it for an eternal prize. And so he says, I run with purpose in every step and I'm not just shadow boxing. I'm not just beating the air. I'm not just pretending. I'm actually involved in a spiritual battle. Talk about a spiritual battle that, uh, that Elijah was in. And it goes on to say, he says it again, verse 27. I discipline my body. Now, when I think of I discipline my body, I think of, you know, all the stuff you can't do and all the stuff that's hard to do and you got to do it. But really, discipline is about caring for yourself so that you'll be healthy and it's not necessarily you know harsh and it's not necessarily negative it's just making good decisions not so that you can be miserable but make good decisions so that you can be healthy and that's that's what he's talking about like an athlete training to do uh, for training your body to do what it should so again he's talking about all these spiritual activities and preaching the gospel but then he's immediately talking about Physical issues, rest, nutrition, care. Um, you need to have the right mindset, okay? Perspective shift. And then you go out and you have that Nike anointing. You just do it. He says, otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. And, uh, you know, I think that Elijah felt like he was going to be disqualified. He felt like it's over. I've done what I've done, you know, just kill me now, God. And God said, what are, you, what are you talking about? What are you doing? No, no, you're not done yet. I got some politics for you to get involved in. I got, you know, you got your successor, your secession plan, all the things you still have to do. You, you need to do those things. I still need you. And God, I think, is saying to us, even if we feel like in the middle of COVID, we feel like everything's been disrupted, but God still has a place for us. Yeah. So don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Rather than all of that, just discipline yourself, nutrition, rest, personal care, perspective, and then go out and, and get busy with the call of God in your life.